Praise the Lord Church. Today's Bible meditation is taken from Daniel chapters 9 and 10. If you are new to Living God family, a very warm welcome to you in Jesus' name. Hope this video will be a blessing to you as you hear and listen to the thoughts as we read through the Bible together. I encourage you to read the chapters during your personal devotion time and become recipients of listening to God's voice daily. Daniel chapter 10 verses 17 through 19. How can someone like me, your servant, talk to you, my Lord? My strength is gone and I can hardly breathe. Then the one who looked like a man touched me again, and I felt my strength returning. Don't be afraid, he said, for you are very precious to God. Peace, be encouraged, be strong. As he spoke these words to me, I suddenly felt stronger and said to him, Please speak to me, my Lord, for you have strengthened me. God the Almighty gives strength to the weak. Daniel poured his anguish before God. Once he read, Israel and Jerusalem will be in desolate state for 70 years, according to the prophecy through prophet Jeremiah. Daniel read the scripture, interceded for Israel, and poured out his burden to the Lord. God sent Michael, the archangel, to strengthen, encourage, and assure him. Today, when we face situations that are challenging, uncertain, with fear gripping our heart, burdening our soul, when we come to God, read his word, and pour our burden at God's feet, God himself will give us words of assurance through his Holy Spirit and will assign his armies of angels to encamp us to protect and strengthen us in his care. As we read in Psalms chapter 73 verses 25 and 26, Whom have I in heaven but you, and there is none upon earth that I desire besides you. My flesh and my heart fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Praise be to our wonder-working God. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for the privilege of your time in watching the videos and being part of Living God community. God bless you all abundantly as we are all created to be holy and happy in Christ Jesus. Amen.